Alrighty, welcome back to Ben Buckler Boards, home of Super 73 in Australia. We handle all the support here. And this is a video for those of you who are wanting to know how to change out the rear wheel on an RX or an S2. Now, why might you want to change the rear wheel out? Well, if you want to change the tire tread, or if you have a flat, uh, or if you have a fault with the motor and you want to change that out, this video is for you. About the motors, so it's 2022 now. Uh, the motors in these RX and S2s are just brilliant. Uh, they've come a long way since 2020, when in 2020 they had the V1 and the V2 motor, who had, which had some faults, um, and they were swapped out in 2021. We had the V3 motor that came into Australia, so that was the first uh, RX and S2 that came into Australia with the V3 motors. Those motors have been exceptionally good. Uh, very low error rate, maybe 2%. Um, and we're seeing probably closer to 1% error rate in Australia now with the new version of the 2022 motors. Now, in Australia or America or Europe, if you do happen to find yourself needing a replacement motor, you could be sent one of these. You might look at this and think, well, what do I do now? You could come to us and we can help you install it on your bike. You could take it to a Super 73 support center. Or uh, if you are remote, you might think to yourself, well, I actually need some help installing it and we can help you with that. Here's what we've done. We can put the motor inside a wheel for you. So that's with the tube and the tire, the disc brake, or well, the disc for the brakes and the cassette for the gears. So we can put all this on for you. In fact, that's what we're doing for a customer today. Um, we are going to send this whole thing out for the customer to just take their rear wheel off and put this new rear wheel on. Uh, so skip to those parts in the video that are relevant to that and that should save you a ton of work. So these are the tools that you'll be needing and we'll list them down below in the description or on screen. And we are developing a toolkit for Super Sandy 3s. Um, keep your eye out on our website. So first step is to remove the brake calipers. Um, however, we are working on the 2022 RXE version or the variant of the bike. Um, the tools might differ for the older generation of the RXE, but it's still the same steps. Um, so you'll sh you should be fine. So now the next step is to use the 21 sized wrench or spanner to loosen the hub bolts and the other side will be a 18 next to the derailleur. Don't take them off fully yet, uh, just loosen them slightly so it is easier to spin. So the third step is to loosen the four bolts um, that are holding in the wheel plates with a size five Allen keys. Please do be careful when doing this. You don't want to accidentally pull on the derailleur line or the brake line. So the next step is to remove the chain. Make sure you have something to prop the bike up. So before pulling the wheel off, you want to get some scissors or snippers to undo the zip ties. Be very careful of not cutting the wires. Then after that, you will unscrew the motor cable and unplug it. So this step will be a two person job. What you want to do is have someone to hold the bike up so it doesn't fall and then have someone to gently remove the back wheel. Now that the wheel is off, you can now fully remove the bolts holding in the plates. So now you want to slowly wiggle the derailleur off from the cassette. So you can fully remove the whole plate. Make sure to keep the derailleur in the same position um, so you, you can put it back with ease. Loosen the valve nut before letting the air out of the tube. So now we're gonna take the air out of the tube and remove the tire. Now that the air is out, you can fully take the nut off of the valve. 
Then use some tire levers to assist you in prying out one wall of the tire. Now push the tube out. Pulling out the tire at this point will pull the whole tire out instantly. So next step is to remove the cassette from the rear hub. What you'll need is a cassette remover um, and we'll provide the name and sizing or down below. It does still use the 21, size 21 wrench. The cassette tool as well as the chain cassette holder will come with an advanced toolkit. It might be very tight at the start and gently remove it and unscrew it. At this point, you want to prep your new wheel and remove the cassette. So now what you want to do is match the spline, uh, the skinny spline with the skinny spline on the cassette. And the last two should pop on the same way. As you can see on this wheel, the bearing shield has been crushed, hence why there was a clicking noise coming from the rear wheel when riding. Don't forget the spacer underneath the cassette because it will be annoying after assembling the cassette back on the new hub. Next, what you want to do is to remove the old brake disc using a T25 Torx key. Put the motor cable through the middle of the brake disc and tighten it back on in a diagonal pattern. If you're gonna be using a power tool after, torque them by hand so you can reassure they're nice and tight. So next step is to unscrew the reflector from your old rim and place it onto the new rim. Remove the rim liner and place the rim liner firmly back onto the new rim. Next step is to push one side of the tire wall into the rim and line up the valve of the tube with the hole in the rim. Gently push the tube in between the tire and rim. Insert the valve through the valve hole in the rim and then secure the valve nut so the tube is fully secured. Now push the other tire wall into the rim Inflate the tire to your desired PSI. So now put the wheel plate back on. Just ensure that your motor wire is not pinched or in between anything. And then you can put the washer and the nut back. Um, just make sure it is hand tight. Now attach the plate with a derailleur. Put the chain on the smallest gear. Ensure that the holes are in the same direction as the other side so you can slide the wheel assembly back into the bike. Put the washer and nut like before on the other side, just hand tight. You might need two people for this. Slide the wheel assembly back onto the frame then secure it with the four screws. Ensure that the screws are at the very back of the holes in the frame. Tighten the wheel nuts on both sides. Now you can put the brake caliper back on the brake disc and tighten it back up and you should be all good to go. All right, well, I hope you found this video really helpful. 
Uh, please ask us questions in the comments if there's anything else we can answer. Hit subscribe and like, we love you. Uh, hopefully that's a big help. Um, all right, what should we do now? All right, let's go, let's go and post this, Bob. <laughs> let's go. <laughs>